Let's Tony Hancock in. Hancock's half hour. What's going on here then? It looks like a flaming protest. What are all these banners and placards? Save the trees? Well, it's definitely not you then, Sid. Ah, uh, I was just asked along. Right, get all that stuff out of my living room. Trees? You don't even like trees. <laughs> oh, this is where you're hiding, is it, Sid? Didn't you know we had a meeting half an hour ago? This is rank insubordination. That's a court martial. I'm your superior officer. And don't you forget it. <laughs> yes, mein Führer. A meeting? About what? No one told me. Is it my turn to do the washing up again or something? <laughs> washing up, washing up, don't you try and trivialise my war on crime. This is official Hancock's Heroes business. It was in the minutes I gave you at the last meeting. Yeah, the last meeting. I wasn't there, don't forget. <laughs> exactly my point, Sid. To repeat an error is not an excuse. Anyway, where have you and those other hobbledy hoys been? We've been on a protest. It's a secret. A protest about what exactly? Have you turned into Greta Thunberg or something? <laughs> I don't know. They told me it was a secret. Then they asked me if I'd like to come along. So I went along and there were a lot of other police at the protest too. And I bet they were on the other side. <laughs> I expect they were frowning and glaring at you, weren't they? I didn't notice. I was too busy ducking. The police kept throwing things at us and we kept throwing them back. It was like a game. <laughs> You're just like a child, aren't you, Sid? Anyhow, this actually brings me nicely to today's case. We have been asked by the police, probably the same ones you've been chucking missiles at, to arrest and charge a man who is responsible for arranging these sorts of protests. Perhaps it's the same bloke who organised this protest, Hancock. Well, I hope not for your sake. If it is, deny everything. Otherwise, we're in trouble. You can't have your cake and eat it, not if you're a policeman. His name is Trevor Dimwitty, by the way. It is him. That was the bloke they told me about who organised this protest. His nibs went along with it, without considering the consequences to Hancock's heroes. You're an accessory, Sid. No one you know saw you there, did they? Ah, it's all right. I'm not stupid. Wait a minute. I said hello to Charlie Thompson from East Team Police. Then there was Rupert Hargreaves and little Jimmy Smith and... For God's sake, Sid, are you out of your mind? That's half of the East Gene Police. How can we be trusted or taken seriously by our colleagues in the law and order profession? Yeah, but we're not trusted or taken seriously by our colleagues in the law and order professions, are we, Hancock? <laughs> well, they can rely on me, Sid. I keep my nose clean, matey, and my lips sealed. I'm honest as the day is long. My God, is that the time you'll be here any minute? Good evening. I'm Trevor Dimwitty. The police said you wanted to see me. Here's my card. No crowds too small, no mob too big. Do you require a crowd or a smallish mob? No, I think we're all right at the moment for crowds. As they say, two's company, anything up to hundreds a crowd. <laughs> My little joke, you see. Well, I'll take your card. We'll be needing that as evidence. Ooh, you ain't half funny. Evidence of what? I've got all me bona fides with me, if you need references. I regularly do work for Piers Morgan. <laughs> He's my best friend. No need. I'm sure you're a shining light in your profession, Mr Dinwiddie, but we would like some evidence as to what sort of crowds you've been hiring, plus records of any mobs over six. I can't let you have any personal details. Size isn't everything, you know. Why do you ask? Do you want to be a member? We're very fussy, you know. Rent a mob doesn't hire any old riffraff, but some people like crowds. They meet lots of new friends. <laughs> ah, thanks. I don't like crowds. They're full of nasty things like germs. We're still under the rule of six, don't forget. No, six is not much of a crowd, is it? I won't make much bunts out of that. It's more of a gathering than a mob. Oh, don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, you're awfully familiar. Absolutely not. You've never set eyes on him before. He's been here all day with me, haven't you, Sid? And he'll sue anyone who says otherwise. No, stop messing about. I never forget a face, especially one as ugly as his. <laughs> He's the sort of face that sticks out in the crowd. <laughs> he gives a sore thumb a bad name, doesn't he? <laughs> Well, that's the last time I work for you, isn't it? So it was you. You've given the game away. Now I tricked you, didn't I? 
<laughs> you was there throwing stuff like I couldn't. I thought a policeman got hit in the face. It was your face, wasn't it? Do you mind? It was talking to me, not you. He works for me. He's Sergeant James and I'm Inspector Angok. Well, this morning he worked for me. He was chatting bricks and policemen's helmets with the best of them. Sergeant James is real mob material. <laughs> We are not going to put up with this abuse one minute longer, Mr Dimwitty. I'm going to charge you with causing the unlawful assembly of a large group of people in a public place. To wit, one mob. Oh, that ain't very nice. Can't I meet up with my friends anymore? I've been very lonely over lockdown. I'm a people person, you see. Me mental health is suffering. <laughs> you cannot meet your friends. It's the rule of six. If there's more than six, it's a... a... It's a seven. <laughs> Right, just for the record, Mr. Dimwitty, what is the name of your organisation? It's called rent -a mob Beware of imitators. We're the non-political, bipartisan and gender-fluid one. <laughs> you do know what a mob is, don't you, Mr. Dimwitty? Of course I bloody do. It's my business. I'm not renting a tuxedo or rent a van, am I? <laughs> I think we're going to have to go straight to court with this one, Sid. This character is a bit too glib for my liking, so keep yourself available, Mr Dimwitty, for the next couple of weeks. We're all going on a spring holiday. No more work for a week or two. Isn't life wonderful, Usher? Spring is here. Music from Florida. <laughs> So, it's your annual spring holiday, is it, Your Honour? Yes, my plane goes in three hours, Usher. Sunny Florida Mar-a-Lago. I'm going to play golf with Donald Trump. I've made it at last. I'm afraid you can't go just yet, Your Honour. You've got one more case to do. What? No one told me. Drat and double drat. I may be so bold, my lord, I did. But you were so engrossed in your book, The Donald Trump Cheater's Guide to Golf. <laughs> Oh, all right, as long as it's a quickie. Anything but murder, they take too long, and the murderers keep banging on about how they're the victim. I'm afraid it might take longer than you think. It's Hancock's heroes and a Mr. Dimwitty. No, this can't be true. How can this be? Donald's dying to meet me. I've been practising my backhand swing. <laughs> I'm hardly able to conceal my delight at meeting you again, Inspector Hancock. I am in a hurry. So I have read the case in advance and declare that Mr. Dimwitty is entirely innocent and couldn't have murdered the victim. So that's that. You can all go home and be quick about it. <laughs> but it's not a murder trial, Your Honour. How do you know? Are you a judge? Or am I? Are you qualified to instruct me in the matter of law? Murder is a very serious offence, Inspector Hancock, and denying it is even more serious. <laughs> With respect, Your Honour, I know it is, but in this case, no one's died. There is no body. <laughs> well, we'll have to get one, won't we? Call Mr. Dimwitty. Perhaps he knows where the body is buried. Just sit there and don't say anything, Inspector Hancock. Good afternoon, Your Honour. I'm not a murderer. I've just got mixed up with the wrong people, you know. Inspector Hancock and Sergeant James here. <laughs> yes, you poor fellow. It's not your fault. These things can happen. Just tell me a bit about your activities. Who do you work for, for example? A one-man operation, Your Honour. Very small. And my company's called Rittermob. <laughs> So that's rent a mob. It's not an Italian company, is it, by any chance? We don't want any mafia around here, do we? All those nasty horses' heads and all that. I've got a phobia of horses. I've had it since I was a child, Mr Dimwitty. It was my nanny. Awful woman. She broke my rocking horse. I got her sacked, and she's been trying to exact revenge ever since. <laughs> What exactly is rent a mob, Mr. Dimwitty? It's what it says on the tin, Your Honour. So you make tins. How charming. Could you be so kind and show me a tin of it, Mr. Dimwitty? No, stop messing about. What tin? There isn't a tin. If there isn't a tin, why did you say there was? And I am not messing about. 
I think you are trying to misdirect the court, Mr. Dimwitty. So perhaps you are in the Mafia after all. He might be in the Mafia, Ronnie. He spends a lot of time in Pizza Hut, so I'm led to believe. <laughs> yeah, so he is in the Mafia. That's a shame, because that will take too long, and we've only got a couple of hours, so we'll have to strike it from the records. So what do you actually do? Oh, if you were a bit sick, I rent out crowds, I employ thousands of my friends, and send them to different locations all over the place. If you see a crowd, it's probably a group of my friends. <laughs> How oh, very nice for you, but I'm afraid crowds are illegal at the moment, Mr. Dimwitty. Covid-19 and all that. Don't force people into crowds. It just happens naturally. I don't tell people to be a mob or a crowd. That would be silly, wouldn't it? And you tell someone, oh, go off and be a mob. <laughs> don't listen to him, Judge Seethrough. We think he's a troublemaker. A professional agitator, probably funded by the Russians. That sounds like a very long court case indeed to me, Mr Hancock. And my flight is in just three hours, so I'll have to ignore you as usual. We've made a note of it. Mr Hancock is fantasising a load of twaddle as usual. There it is in the minutes, Hancock. Don't worry. <laughs> But you're failing to take into account crucial evidence, Judge Seethrough. And you're failing to take into account that I have a holiday in Florida to go to. No, there's nothing wrong in ringing round your friends, Mr Dinwiddie. It's very sociable and good for people's mental health. Please, I like to keep tabs on my friends. I like to keep up to speed. I'm very popular. I can't help it. Some people say I've got charisma. I draw people to myself like a magnet. <laughs> But his so-called friends are chucking stuff at the police, Your Honour. It's just a bit of light-hearted fun and games, my lord. People need to exercise after lockdown. It's like catch or pass the parcel. Pass the parcel, Bob Morlake. Don't take any notice of Mr Hancock, but just in case, Mr Dimwitty, who are your friends exactly? None of them are criminal dangerous types, I hope. You know Sergeant James, don't you, Your Honour? He was in a group of friends. I organised an East team two weeks ago. I might have known. Sergeant James, what have you got to say for yourself? Are you both friends of Mr Dimwitty or what? Definitely not, Your Honour. I was on the side of the police at the protest, but got confused and for a few fleeting moments ended up facing the wrong way by accident and started throwing things at myself. <laughs> oh well, wasn't that unfortunate? Particularly because you've admitted an offence. That's six days in jail and a £300 fine, Sergeant James. And as you're his employer, I also hold you personally responsible, Inspector Hancock. That's five days in jail and a £200 fine for you. I wasn't even there, my lord. Dim Whitty is rent the mob, not me. I'm not on trial and nor is Sid. It's correct. And now nobody's on trial because I'm abandoning it. As you both can't be agents for the Crown and offenders. Right, I can still catch my flight if I dash. The ex-potus will be very pleased. If you're such a nice man, I'll get a group of my friends to come along and cheer you off at the airport, Your Honour. Oh, how very nice. Thank you, Mr Dimwitty. Yes, very gracious. <laughs>